There's been an increasing understanding, especially now, that one of our major sources of air pollution, and one of the things we need to be concerned about is traffic-related air pollution. We talk about traffic-related air pollution, we're talking about the pollution that actually originates from, uh, from motor vehicles, trucks and cars primarily, uh, and we're especially concerned about diesel exhaust as a source, uh, but all traffic-related air pollution seems to be of concern, and there's been a a body of evidence that's been showing that um, s spending a lot of time or residing really close to a heavily trafficked roadway uh, is a source of risk uh, in terms of cardiovascular disease, um, possibly even in terms of um, uh, cognitive function over time, development of dementia. So our concern is what's going on in this near road environment, even as we've continued to clean up the average environment in cities, this area that's very close to heavily trafficked air, uh, roadways is still of concern. So uh, it's clear that we can measure air pollutants at very high con concentrations just downwind of a roadway. So uh, if you're just next to I-5, we can measure that the concentrations of uh, oxides of nitrogen, elemental carbon, carbon monoxide are going to be much higher in that environment than they are uh, just a little bit downwind. So as we move between that just near roadway environment and about 300 meters, by the time we get to three football fields away from a roadway, for example, you're back completely really to the baseline of the clean air that a community has. But in that very first bit, in that first 50 to 100 meters, it's clear the concentrations are much higher and we need to be concerned about air quality there. We need to be concerned about um, living that close, having uh, playgrounds, schools, and so forth that are so close to roadways. And really it just has to do with how many cars and trucks are, are, are on that roadway. Uh, if you're on the, you know, a major, you know, exit way, that's going to be a heavily trafficked roadway. As you get to car roadways that have only a, you know, a, a few dozen, a few hundred cars in a day, that's obviously a much less concern. But when you get into those tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, vehicles passing by in a row in a day, those are those are roadways of concern and are generating a lot of traffic-related air pollution. It's a really good question what people should do if they're already living or considering living in an environment that's super close to a heavily trafficked roadway. Uh, one thing is to actually think about what the prevailing winds are. If you know that you're living in an area where the winds generally go from west to east, then living west of a major roadway is actually of less concern than living to the east of a major roadway. And that's the way it is mostly through Seattle, is that the winds come from the west. Um, uh, uh, but that issue is, you know, in that first hundred meters from a roadway, is especially just downwind of a roadway, uh, the pollution impacts are, are of some concern. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, people should consider moving, but it might mean that they want to take some simple precautions like keeping their windows closed most of the time. Now, people might be doing that for no noise reasons already. Uh, uh, if you have health concerns, uh, asthma, cardiovascular disease, uh, um, and, and so forth, you may actually consider uh, that would be a place to have an air cleaner, you know, a HEPA filter in your, your environment so that you can keep the air a little bit cleaner. Uh, keeping the windows closed, uh, using an air cleaner is likely to actually reduce the concentrations of air pollution quite a lot in your environment. As a public health professional, my advice is always that exercise is good. You should endeavor to be active. You should try to get some vigorous exercise a few days a week. That remains my guidance and that's what people should follow. If you um, have a choice about where you exercise, uh, it probably makes sense to avoid exercising really close to a source of air pollution. And in general, what that means for people living in urban areas is avoid exercising right next to a major roadway. In that first 50 or 100 meters from a major roadway, I'd say find another place to exercise if you can. I'd say that my main advice has to do with when we're thinking about siting new playgrounds or new areas where kids or the elderly are gonna spend a lot of their time. 
really makes sense to think twice about whether we want to put that right in the downwind of a major roadway. If we have an option, we should probably be putting it in a place with cleaner air so that people spend more of their time in a clean air environment.